Dynamo News Now wants to help you make the most educated decision this election, so we asked all candidates in the Dynamo area ridings the exact same three questions. How will you make the lives of your constituents better? I think the BC Green Party, and specifically me, can really help the constituents of, of this riding in two ways. One, the details of our platform. We, we have an extensive platform and, and have an awful lot to offer every walk of life. More importantly, though, is, is I can commit to the constituents of Parksville Qualicum that I will respond to them. And what that means is, is I won't be beholden to my party or party politics in, in Victoria, or even to, to the leader. I respond and will listen to and be accountable to the constituents in this riding. So they can count on, on me to always be available and put their con concerns ahead of anyone else's concerns. Well, I'm certainly proud to stand with a party that believes in providing everything that we possibly can for British Columbians in the most fiscally responsible manner that we can. BC has Canada's strongest economy, best job creation, and lowest unemployment rate, which enables us to look after the people that we love and invest in the things that matter to British Columbians, like health care and education and support for those people who need a little helping hand. We have provided record investments in education, in health care, transportation, universities, training. The list goes on. Um, you know, we've been able to make those investments because we've been fiscally responsible with our AAA credit rating and our five consecutive balanced budgets. I fundamentally believe in fiscal discipline because it means that we have the money to invest in the people of British Columbia. Okay, so one of the things that I would like to do is, like I've really focused on um, increasing minimum wage to $15 an hour. People who live in our community aren't able to work and live there and it's not feasible for them to drive to Nanaimo and work in Parksville. So that's one of the things I'm going to do. Um, the other thing is uh, we have a poverty reduction plan. I don't know if you're aware, Parksville and Qualicum are now experiencing a high level of homelessness. And so uh, part of that is their income assistance rates. We're going to work on the poverty reduction plan. Uh, we're going to increase the uh, uh, monthly income for people on income assistance. We're also going to allow them a $200 to be able to make an extra $200 in wages to top up their income. And we're also going to provide a clothing allowance. Be sure to check back for our final question on Friday.